Hello motherfuckers of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to my channel. Bitch. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Today we are reacting to Fresh and Fit and the name of the video that we are going to be reacting is from the Fresh and Fit podcast clips. Podcast clip. Just so you guys know, if you guys want to go watch it yourself again. But the name of the video is called How to Prevent a Girl from Ever Doing This to You. Viral clip. But before we begin, guys, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down my down below. Have you done already? Alrighty, let's go. Here we go. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, man records the moment. He calls girl cheating. I posted this to social media. Oh hell! And his reaction, guys, happens to a lot, guys. Generally, so yeah. Here we go. Oh Dude. shit! <laughs> I will never trust again. I swear to God. Go ahead. Oh <laughs> shit! She's sick. Hey, I'm stuck in this car though. She got to take me home. But damn, I would never trust again. <laughs> oh shit! On Jesus Christ. Oh shit! This man's hurt, man. Hey, what's the move though? You good? She not good. <laughs> we'll never talk to her again. <laughs> not the... She's a loser. <laughs> we'll never talk to her okay. again. Yo, that's crazy. I don't know. I feel like he's doing a little bit too much. I I know, like, for me. Let's say this happened, dude. I just move on, bro. Like, there's more efficiency. Like, she she has to live with it. But damn, posting that shit on social media and everyone seeing that, damn, that's a little crazy. I know, I know, girls get away with that more, and it's more acceptable but for a dude. I don't know, but he, he can do what he wants. But just saying, from my perspective, I kind of wouldn't do that. But all right, look at uh, he can do what well, he bro. wants. That's Twitch, if, if you don't mind, that's crazy though. Oh, you uh, okay? Yeah, yeah we got to kill Twitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you said. Yeah, All right, yo guys, we go kill Twitch and uh, Facebook and Twitter. So come on over to YouTube right now, fresh to fit on YouTube, guys. Come on over, come on over, and we're gonna react to this, yeah. and we're gonna give you give you the the tips, guys, how to get over a breakup. But we're showing you guys to kind of demonstrate, because uh, a lot of y'all find yourself in this position, yeah. Whether you catch a girl or you don't. Um, but go ahead, fresh. You had some? No, there's two points here that you guys should have seen through this video, but the comments were hilarious, bro. Bruh. Uh, yeah, that's hilarious. TB <laughs> says, "See you in the gym, bro." Which is true. That's one of the things you need to do to get over a breakup. Uh, he was hurting from the inside, trying to hide it. Chris, Damn you called it God. earlier, dude. He's hurt. You can tell he's hurt. Yep. But it happens, bro. It's, it's just part of life, man. It's dude, yeah. Uh, my first breakup, that shit was not fun. We need to go through trials and tribulations and things that are gonna that's gonna make us stronger and understand and for later on to know like what type of girl you are dating to make sure that shit doesn't happen again if she does cheat you you are fucking you're you're gonna make sure that that shit does not happen and you're gonna choose wisely for the next time because my first time i got uh working out with this thing it fucking hurt bro and shit's crazy it, it's hard it's hard for a dude I seen my other buddies uh, go through their breakups. They were fucking. They will cry and all that. And like, dude, I understand it, bro. Like, let it out, but don't let it consume you. It sucks. So, so um, go back to the uh, the first one when he was talking, Chris. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Play it. She's caught. Please? You're caught. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, you're getting posted. <laughs> that that nigga Blick got all the photos. Blake is. I will never swear to God. Go ahead. <laughs> She's sick. Hey, I'm stuck in this car though. She got to take me home, but damn, I would never trust the Pause. Again. Pause. Stop right there. I'm stuck in this car though. She got to take me home. Mm. Guys, what he just said there is a microcosm of the larger scale of what's going on in this relationship. This man is with a girl who pretty much probably more than likely has the leverage in the relationship. Mm. If you guys notice, she's the one driving the car. She got to drive him around. His hair is all fucked up. He looks disheveled, looks fairly dusty. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like she's pushing a Porsche. From yeah. The steering yeah. Wheel. That looks like a Porsche to me, right? So obviously this guy is in out of his head here when it comes to this relationship with this girl. You can tell he's young, right? So they're probably close in age. And this is how women abuse you guys when you don't have your shit together. 
All right. Now, obviously, he's being funny about it. He's like, yo, she cheated on me. It is what it is. And, you know, he's kind of having this outward, uh, you know, re um, reaction where he's like, fuck this bitch, blah, blah, blah. But, yo, he he's pissed, man. Any guy that's in a relationship with a chick and you see this, mm. like, this is unacceptable behavior. And a lot of times girls do stupid shit like this when you don't have frame, when your value isn't that high, when they run the wear the pants in a relationship. And you could tell just from their dynamic. Oh, that's that crazy, dude. Oh, wait, is that a fucking... Her driving his bum ass around that's an issue in the first place why the hell is she driving i thought i saw a sex tape there but no i'm wrong in the car yeah and fake tears too yo i gotta say this right so off this video alone i can tell look well you know i'll give, I'll give some props he didn't hit her he didn't act of course, too crazy yeah. yeah i mean he held it in you can tell he was hurt but like yeah. he, he handled it pretty well we had the camera bro, on him too <laughs> most, most guys in that situation what they do freak out uh, they might attack the girl most niggas yeah and <laughs> what the fuck? you know what i'm saying they, they gonna take that shit and Next thing you know, we don't, oh, con you we don't condone don't ever, ever, ever putting your hands on me. Yeah, don't ever do that. Even, dude, honestly, I, it's not even worth it. Like, just let it, it happen. Just move on, bro. Like, don't ever hit a woman. Even if they, they you're wrong, you just have to accept what's already happened. And as a man, we control our emotions. Don't let that overwhelm you and just do what's right and just leave and dude. There's so many fish in the sea. It's don't let one person destroy everything. Just saying. Uh, that's what I have learned. And you'll be winning on the other side if you don't get caught. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> but I will that's say this though. Like, uh, it's the wrong game. Huh? No, he said fatality. Oh, oh. well, I mean, I that's guess. something, yeah. bro. Um, but right now, right? He is this. hurt. He's definitely visibly hurt. You can hear in his voice how he's acting. He's hurt. And most guys, this is what happens to them, either directly or indirectly. So, guys, we're going to cover today five steps to get over a breakup and how to handle it. Because, guys, most guys go through this and they don't know how to handle it. And it results either hurting themselves, you know, being destructive, or even the girl. And, guys, Blake, the guy you saw that she's uh, DMing in, uh, on Snapchat, you know, you know what's funny about Blake? What? He might not even know that she is a man. Yeah. So, this is on her because it's up to her to say, you know what? I have a man. I cannot... Uh, talk to you back and forth but she's doing it yeah i mean if you got a serious girl yeah she was entertaining the other day that's complete cheating like even if she didn't sleep that's completely cheating and she also already sent the, the bikini shot uh bikini shots and all that crazy stuff that is insane Friend, like she should be posting you people should know that you, they're in a relationship but again this is her wanting attention this is her having higher value than him this is the guy being a bomb not having frame etc this is this is what happens a lot of times and this guy's th this guy right here guys is what i call a place holder boyfriend boyfriend yep. and uh, yeah, yeah yo fresh and fit coin this term okay yeah, so yeah. If, any, if i hear anybody else saying this i'm like you you copycats he's a placeholder boyfriend what is a placeholder boyfriend guys a placeholder boyfriend is a guy that's good enough okay and what i mean by good enough is that he has enough to get a relationship out of a girl right maybe he's the one that proposed the relationship maybe he's the one that's saying yo uh we should be together taking it to the next level blah, blah blah right he has enough to get into the relationship but he doesn't have enough to maintain the relationship and retain the relationship at a high level where he commands respect from his woman. A lot of times when you're the placeholder boyfriend, what ends up happening is your girl dresses provocatively when she when she goes out without you. She still goes to the club. She still entertains, entertains male best friends. She still has her Instagram up uh, acting as if she's single, etc. A lot of these girls that y'all see on the internet that have these super, you know, scantily clad photos sure. or are all over social media or at the club or whatever. A lot of them have boyfriends, guys. Real talk. A lot of them do. The thing is, though, is that the guy's value, right? He's deficient in something that she craves. Well, let's say he has money, but he's a square. He has no game. He's a lame. Well, she deals with him because he provides uh, resources and some type of security, right? But he's he has no frame. He has no backbone. So she doesn't respect him. So she's out at the club. Or it could be on the other side where the guy has no money, right? But he has some game. Maybe he's attractive, whatever else. But he can't necessarily retain her command respect because she's paying all the bills, which is probably Damn. what's going on in this situation with, with this guy. Where Don't let it do you. If she's paying the bills, you're doing something wrong, bro. It's a it's a guy. That's the guy's job, bro. Like, why, why are you letting the girl pay for you? That's fucking crazy. It's not 50-50, dude. We need to accept the fact that it's not going to be 50-50. They say they do, but they do. It's fucking not, bro. They be, dude, these girls have be lying right now. At some point, she's going to get tired of having to always foot the bill and be like, you know what? Let me look for something better. So what I want you guys to do is understand you never want to be a placeholder boyfriend. boyfriend. If you're not the one, there is none. 
Again, guys, one more time for y'all so you guys burn this in your brain, all right? Oh, shit. If you're not the one, there is none. I'm not the one. I am not the one. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Okay, it's in my head now. What I mean I'm not by the none one. is no fucking relationship, okay? Because women are terrible people the when fuck? they have leverage <laughs> over you in a relationship. They will make your existence a fucking living hell. Oh, Whether shit. it's them disrespecting you, oh, going out with shit. your girlfriends, doing ho shit on the side and embarrassing you, stuff like this where they're on Snapchat talking to random people, sending, them, sending photos of themselves, images of themselves. This is all terrible and this is what happens when you are a placeholder boyfriend you're just there until something better comes along and she'll get rid of your ass and go to the other guy a lot of you guys might wonder yo my girl broke up with me or she's starting to act cold all of a sudden or she's like been really bitchy recently etc these are all indicators that you're a placeholder Holder boyfriend. boyfriend you were good enough for that time period now something just say it to yourself you're not good enough you ain't good you a bitch. You ain't good. Okay, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's a coffee. It's a coffee. Else came it's along, a coffee. And she's being a piece of because she wants you to initiate the breakup. Most guys, though, a lot of y'all that are play, placeholder boyfriends that barely got the girl by the skin of your teeth, you guys will never break up the relationship because that's why you're a placeholder boyfriend in the fucking first place. You settle and you take what you can get because you know your value isn't high enough. So what do you do? Oh, no, shit. please, baby, don't break up with me. Groveling to try to keep her, etc. And she, what does she do? She ramps up her being a... She ramps up being rude. She ramps up the disrespect. She ramps up the insufferableness, hoping that you're going to man up and say, get the fuck out of here. I'm tired of you. But you never will. This is why most girls initiate most breakups. Shit. That is the formula right there, guys. So when you're a placeholder boyfriend, okay, all yeah. you're doing, you're on borrowed fucking time. She's looking for something better, which is why she still continues, right? Yeah. Go to the club. Have it. Yes. But if you become that guy. Then you are not the place boyfriend. Hold on. The place boyfriend bit. I did I can't you know what I mean? You're not the place holder, but you're not the place boyfriend holder anymore. If you become that guy. But if you don't dude, we just have to level up, bro. Honestly. Instagram, do all these things that a single girl does while simultaneously siphoning off a relationship from your dumb ass and you sit at home playing fucking Call of Duty while she's at the club looking for a new duty. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> What the fuck? Yo, let's go, Byron. Byron, big fucking W, bro. I fucking love you, bro. So, bro, hell never yeah, bars. Be a placeholder boyfriend. Placeholder your girl, boyfriend. You're just say it to yourself. You're not fucking good enough, bro. You will never be good enough for them. You will never have that nine inch. You know what I mean. But yeah. Does not respect you and you her world doesn't revolve around you. You don't fucking want her. I'm telling y'all, bro, being a placeholder boyfriend is one of the worst existences that you can have as a man. You better not be Shit. single struggling than me with a girl like that. Yeah, dude. And your, your money is just going to be, you're just going to be spun, spending money on someone that really doesn't respect you like that. And that sucks. I've seen it. But with that said, guys, please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down my down.